Hello, friends. Dapper Driver here. Uh, and first off, I apologize for the late upload. Um, I really needed some coffee after work today, so I had to go get that before I started this. Um, today we are supposed to do a Lolan Muck GX. Um, however, every time I tried this version um, of the deck, it was not working out very well. So I think I need some more testing. Um, I need to do way more testing to get the slippery stall, the um, which I love. I love the what I named this deck, but alas, it is not ready. There's too many liabilities, liabilities like Tapu Lele here, in this deck for it to work. But I think I got an idea on how to make it work. So this one was like focused on, you know, it has the Rhyperior for the mill effect. But like that wasn't working. Lele was a liability. I have another one that was focusing on um, retreat lock with Doug Trio. Again, that wasn't working. So and then the uh, the original one that I did focused on the poison upping that poison damage, which actually worked a little better than the other two, but was still not quite what I wanted it to be so I have a new idea a new drawing board for it but I'm gonna go back and look at those waylord stall decks to see if I can get some some good ideas from it but the new one I gotta rebuild this entirely the new one's gonna have only a Lolan muck in it and uh, I believe I'll be replacing those Lele's with Bridget's and Olivia's and and of course the enhanced hammer the crushing hammers and all that jazz but um what i am going to do today since uh we're not doing a little mock is this crazy challenge right here fighting mad um so we are going to try to do we're probably not going to do 4,000 damage to opposing pokemon with fighting pokemon but we are going to play a fighting deck and try to whittle this down Maybe we can get up to 2,000. Um, and to be honest, I'm going to play with one of my favorite Pokemon, even though it's not considered good at all. At all. It's not considered good at all. But uh, I'm still going to play with that. And that is some Lycanroc Binky action here. Um, so, it's not the Lycanroc you're used to. We are playing this Lycanroc, the one from the theme deck, Burning Shadows. Now it's a little weaker than the than the GX, of course, which I mean you would expect it to be, but I mean it pretty much has the same attack cost. It has uh, the 30 damage for two energies and uh, 100 damage for three, um, but it's a one prize attacker, so you know 20 less damage for one less prize. Uh, I think it's worth it. And we're also going to play one of the uh, other Lightning Mark as well. But let's go over this deck first. Um, let me just copy the clipboard, uh, but we will go over Rockruff, of course, first. The awesome little Rockruff. So cool. He's corning you. He's wild kicking you. I love this Pokemon so much. But uh, with that, we are playing one Dangerous Claws, Lycan Rock. This is good for early game with Claws and Corner. Um, we play a couple double colors to get that Corner in there. Um, but this is just a sweet art too, by the way. Sweet art. Um, and then we're playing the uh, rock throw, uh, cell rock one. Um, and then we're playing two leles. But let's go what we're playing first. We're playing the carbink break. We got two safeguard carbinks and one carbink break for that diamond gift. We gotta, we have to gift these energies to lichen rock. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. We got two reggie rocks. I was only able to get my hand on two. It's to boost that damage. We are trying to whittle away that 4,000 damage. So the best way to do that is just boost it with Reggie. With the Reggie power. Um, then we got two Lele's for that general search. We got one Remoraid and one Octillery for draw support. Uh, which makes sense. We need that draw support, that constant thing. So I kind of base these uh, these stage one decks off of the single prizes. Kind of base them off the old Gyarados list. So I start with like you know four double colors and a bunch of cards. 
but then I, I replaced it with strong energy for fighting types uh, and then made room for these other cards by taking out some other things uh, so with the items we are very uh, item uh, light here we all we have is one field blower four rescue stretchers and four ultra balls those are our only items is uh, those field blower of course you need to be able to discard that stadium and those tools uh, rescue stretcher you need to be able to pull these uh, lichen rocks back you don't want to get reggie in the active you don't want to get Layla in the active you want to have these lichen rocks cycling through or car bank cycling through every time you you throw up a lichen rock you want to have a car bank on the bench ready to uh, put pull those energies back out that you lose and give them back we got three brooklyn hills we want to be able to pull out our fighting and water types almost immediately and the higher count of this is the more likely we're going to get at that first turn we have one brox for that combination of energy and pokemon just bring things back that we need we got uh three guzmas for that general guzmana guzming that it's your boy guzma we got two lilies for general draw support um i've been starting to throw three draw supporters in every deck lately because that way you're not stuck as often. I mean, you used to replace that with Via Seeker, but now it seems like you're going to need three draw supporters. So, of course, we have N as well and Kukui. We have we have like four draw supporters, actually. We have two Lilies, four N, one Kukui, and four Sycamore. That's how many Sycamore we have. We have four Choice Band to boost that damage even more. Like I said, it's 4,000. 4,000 damage we want to knock this down so we got to whittle away with it with every tool we have and choice band allows you to boost the damage of your moves more than most other tools and more than all tools right now it's you can boost the damage the most but it has to be against exs and gxs and we also have two float stones for to get to throw on to reggie throw on artillery we don't want those guys in the active we might even throw it on on uh, carbink so we can retreat back into a lichen rock and we're finishing this off with four fighting or four fighting four yeah actually we do have four fighting four fighting two double colorless and four strong energy and that is the deck guys let's go ahead like i said copy it to the clipboard again and we are going to take it to the versus ladder let's see if this actually does any good for us but uh lichen rock binky if you guys got a better name let me know maybe it's um throw a gift or something i don't know gift throw santa claus i know <laughs> but we're gonna play some lichen rock binky um what's this thing dangerous dangerous gift maybe that's the best name for this is dangerous gift but you know it's, it, i always like to play with the words of the moves like that that's that's the best way to figure this out like slippery stall though that just kind of came you know because muck is slippery and i'm trying to make a stall deck out of it slippery stall i thought about making the the the, <laughs> the thumbnail with like muck inside of a toilet <laughs> bowl i don't know it's something stupid what are we gonna start with oh we gotta start with oh that's hard that's hard Lele are rock. Um, we're going to start with the Reggie rock so we can bust out that Bridget turn one and get the uh, three, the, the Lycan rock, the Remorade, and the Carbink. That's a rough start though. And we're facing the top deck, Gardevoir. Gardies Voir. So this is going to be an uphill battle for sure. And we get the choice band. Let's go ahead and get that Bridget though. Bridget. Ah, oh, is it prized? Uh, you know what? I just went over the deck. I didn't put it in there, did I? Pretty sure I did not put it in there. Why am I playing Brock's over Bridget's? That just makes no sense. Why play Brock's over Bridget's? So right there, there's already uh, an adjustment that needs to be made. Let's go ahead and play this. And why did I not put a Bridget in here? This just doesn't make any sense. There's a Floatstone, there's a Brooklyn Hill, and there's a Carbank. So with that, we would play down a Carbank, throw the Brooklyn Hill down, and pull out the Remoraid. And we do have the Carbank break, okay. 
and we're not too worried about pulling down a uh, rock rough just yet because it is uh, although it would have been able to attack right now um, I don't need to retreat Regic rock just yet so let's wait one turn getting the free setup that's okay I got my rimmer right out of it an ultra ball for a Gardevoir probably two double colors energies discarded though wow so if I lose this I'm definitely going to blame it on Bridget it's all Bridget's fault if Bridget was just in the deck I would have no problem with it I think it sh I should have probably had Bridget in here but somehow Brock got it put in instead they're next to each other so I probably just misclicked when I was building the deck Curlia. And there's a choice band on the Rimmer end. Strange. There goes that choice band on Lele. I'm glad I did not put the float stone down now. Okay guys, let's let's do it to it. The mo the strongest car bank ever right here. About to happen is the strongest car bank ever. <laughs> we can throw a choice on it too, that'd be ridiculous. We don't need to throw a choice spin on it. We will save those for now, but we are going to power gem and knock out this curlier for 90 damage. Take one prize card. It is a fighting energy. We need that rock rough now. We need that rock rough now. Yeah, there's not really a need for Brox in this, so I would say Brox, go bye bye. We need a Bridget. Carbon coming on strong. They need a rare candy Gardevoir to really bring this back. And there it might be. Carbon is not immune to. That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> that's not what I was expecting. And are they going to get the Octillery? And that does no good for you. Why would you use your premonition before you end? And rock rough. There we go. We got the rock rough. It's so rock and it's so rough rough. Um, oh, we got the 90 damage because of uh, would you gig us? That's right. So now Carbink can only do 80 damage. Oh no, it can still do more. Never mind. Never mind what I'm saying. Just throw Rock Ruff down, throw a Double Colors down on it, and uh, should we put the Float Zone down? They've already used two Field Blowers. Um, I don't know if they play a third, I feel like they don't, but it's really hard to tell. But we are probably going to soften up this, uh, this Gallade right now with some Power Gem action. 90 damage to Glade. This is a pretty cool art of that. It's a, it literally looks like a Pokemon tournament before Pokemon tournament was a thing. It just tells you how long they build these decks, these these things for. There, they have them working on it for a long time before they finally do it. So, how much you have 60 HP left? Because we did 90 damage. Okay. Premonition. Oh, they got the Octillery, though. It's okay, though. Um, I have plans for the next turn. Uh, the Rescue Stretcher is going to have to go. We have four of them, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh-oh. Rare Candy into a Gardevoir? Yes, of course it's a Gardevoir. And Super Rod those fairies back. Oh, no, they just took a whole line. They took a whole line back. So we better start getting into action here before we lose um, our momentum here. We are up right now, but uh, Gardevoir can easily start swinging back at us very easily. Um, secret string. Get two energies onto Glade, and Sensitive Blade is going to kill Carbink without a problem. Um, 
What do I want to do? Do I want to Guzma? Mm, I don't think I want to Guzma. I'm gonna throw that back down and. I guess we're gonna fish out our car bank, because we can. And unfortunately, it looks like I have to dump my hand. Could end, but that's not gonna do me any good. You have 60 HP left? Okay, let's see what we get with Abysmal Hand. A fighting energy. So we can utilize that. But now we need specifically... We need the uh, Midnight Form Lycanroc. Which we did not get. Ooh, that works, that works, that works. Come on, put it back down. Let's go ahead and Brooklyn Hill. Use it to grab... Ooh, we could grab another Reggie Rock, but I think we're going to need a Rock Ruff here. Yeah, we need a Rock Ruff on the bench. We can Ultra Ball away the other Rock Ruff. And I want to leave that tool on Octillery, because if I remove it, then they can put a Float Stone on it. So, let's leave it. I don't have any big cards that are going to screw me over so could throw away Brock's probably going to anyways let's throw away Brock's to get the specific card we want which is this guy and we're gonna hit this uh, thing for a hundred damage so let's go ahead and corner for 100 damage and another prize card a fighting energy again. We can throw that down on the little rock rough. Actually, we might throw it onto the break. Yeah, we're going to throw it onto the carving break. And they're going to Sycamore, tossing their entire hand. Ooh, they could have Guzma trapped me, though. They could have Guzma trapped me. Floatstone onto the DNC Ultra Ball. Four. Probably a Ralt at this point, right? Yeah, I was like, probably a Ralt at this point. Makes the most sense. Throwing down a Ralt. Got the double colors from the Gardevoir. Like a secret, not a secret spring. And that is going to be 90 damage, like just straight up overkill. Straight up overkill. That's what that is right there. It's okay though, we can soften up with the Guardi, or with a Carbink I should. Binky, the gift. We have to give the gift. And Gardevoir, just like that, is caught, has tied the game. It's going to be uh, 4 to 4 on prizes. So this is going to be a long game. Because they're taking one prize at a time, and we are. Uh, Falling behind, right? Let's go ahead and carbink, break it up. Um, I feel like I want to do this one though. Let's go ahead and boost that damage though, because we can. Um, ah, oh, now I can't sick a more. Now I can't sick a more. Darn it. Um, Ooh, rescue stretchers. So I could just rescue stretcher one of those. Let's play the fancy rescue stretcher. Um, we're gonna get our lichen rocks back in case we need it again. And we are gonna hold out on that energy and diamond gift. For 40 damage, we are gonna grab the two strongs and throw them on the little lichen rock. We probably could bedrock press this and like come out on top. 
Uh, we're trying to do energy. We're trying to do uh, most damage with the, the easiest attackers. Ending me down to four, which we already have four. We get a Lily, a Rock Ruff, and that Field Blower again. So let's see, what are they going to do? We have 110 damage. I think they have it though. They're 90. Yeah. They only need three energies on uh, Gardevoir at any given time to knock out basically anybody on my side of the field. And I need a little more than one energy to attack. So this is really an uphill battle. But if I can do 190 damage, which I don't know how that's possible, I could take this Gardevoir next turn. Twilight GX. Okay, so this is the turn to try to figure it out, though. This is definitely the turn to figure it out. Question is to N or to Lily? Hmm. I feel like... Should pro I'm gonna have to Octillery first, actually. Field Blower and then Octillery. There's those 10 cards back. Let's get, what did I draw? I drew another strong energy. Let's go ahead and Field Blower. I think I'm gonna get rid of that and that. Float Stone. And we are going to Octillery for two, first and foremost. Two fighting energies, that's not what I needed at all. Now Lily's not going to help me at all either. Um, let's end then. Which is stupid because I just gave them my dem cards. And then throw that Rock Ruff down. Retreat. And I hope I can do this most here. Corner for 170. I was 20 short. 20 short. Ugh. That sucks. But, I mean, they, they'll... Unless they max potion that. We might be able to take that guard of our next turn with Carbink. That sucks so much. Seriously. 20 short. Literally, all I needed was the... Uh, all I needed was the choice band. Or the kukui. There's so many options I had to get that out, too. But what I drew is what I drew. Drawing two fighting energies, that was like, ugh. Really? So see now I feel like I do need the Brocks, need those energies back. And Gardevoir is gonna throw more energy down. I think they're gonna go for this KO to try to get ahead. But it's okay. Uh, I know that Lycanroc is 10, if they take out this uh, Regirac, Lycanroc is 10 shy from being able to take out um, the Lele, and that is what I would put uh, up there. They didn't take it out, though. Okay, now now here is some some questions. What to do here? Um, I kind of feel like I would just for one, but I feel like the best bet here is to use it all. Oof, jeez. I need a Guzma. Really need a Guzma. So I guess I'm gonna let them take a hit. My prizes I want is that Gardevoir with a very few HP and that Lele. So I think I'm gonna do this. And let 
Let him take the Regirock. I have a way to get Regirock back. In fact, I still have one. I still have one way at least to get Regirock back. So I'm not too worried about that. Bring us down to four cards. That's fine. Octillery always gets our back on that. There's what we needed. That float stone. This Gardevoir is built. So we need two Guzmas. I think we have both of them. So we need to draw our two Guzmas. It's pretty much that simple. Draw one, take one prize. Draw the second, take the other prize. That That's what's going to go on right now. And we have it set up. Let's go ahead and throw Carbon Cup here. Rock Ruff. Ooh, I like it. Hmm. We're kind of stuck now, because uh, we have to choose one. We choose to retreat the car bank. Okay, so this we can just we can just pull those things back up. Uh, yeah, we have to choose to retreat the car bank or. Uh, I think this is the best pet though. Where do I want to play the float? I think I'm gonna play this. Get the Reggie Rock and the Carving back into the deck and draw three cards. And I get the Guzma. That is a prize. Can I did it with Diamond Gift though? Diamond Gift does 20 plus 10. Oh, all I need is 20 though. We are going to get that Gardevoir. Put the Octillery out since it has the float. Retreat into uh, Carving. Put the Energy down and Diamond Gift for that to double prize. And throw two Energies on the little Rock Ruff here. Take two big prizes right there. Got the other Guzma. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Ah. So how much damage can you do right now, Lycanroc? 90. Plus 20. Plus 20. Plus 20. 90. Plus 60. So I can do 160 damage. If I can get one of those choice bands, which I believe I have four of in this deck, I can take out that Lele and do some action. Now Carbink probably will get knocked out here, but we might be able to pull away a game from Gardevoir with this stage one non-GX Lycanroc deck. It's just the trading game. The trading game. Um, like, I mean, I have that liability, too. If they can Guzma out my Lele, they have enough to take it. But I think they just played Bridget, which is uh, their supporter for the turn. So, five cards, 14 cards. I'm even up deck-wise. Uh, this game is close. This game is close. A second Lele for the Guzma. Watch, that. that's just how I lost, because I just mentioned that Lele's right there. But this is a super close match. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this face. <gasps> what just happened? And then the smiley. You missed? You missed? You wonder tagged and missed? Now what are you going to do? How are they out of cards already with the... There it goes, there it goes, right there. So we're going to throw out Octillery. So we need this right here. Oh my god, and the top deck. The top deck of top decks. I had it with that other one. But let's just take that Lele. 
bring out the lichen rock and go ahead and go to town. Let's just double count our our what we this is <laughs> double count. I think we can get we can get this though just for BP. Corner corner that Lele. Knock her out. 200 damage right there. And Lycan Rock took it from Gardevoir right there at the end. Oh my gosh. See, I think this Lycan Rock actually plays better with Carbink than the, the GX version. Because the GX version still gives out those two prizes. But this Lycan Rock only gives out one. Yes, you still have to bring back your energy all the time. But... Look at that, look at this. This Dangerous Claws Corner, Lycan Rock is crazy. Crazy artwork. MVP for sure. Even though there's only one in the deck. One in the deck. Look at that. We we kept up with Gardevoir right there. With the Gardevoir GX, one of the top decks in the entire game. Biggest attack, 180 for them, 200 for us. Damage dealt, 780 for them, 720 for us, but we took all six prize cards and they only took five. So, wow. Wow. With that note, I guess we're only going to play one, actually, because that's as long as I usually make videos. Uh, with that, let's go ahead and... Oh, let's get some free level balls, right? That's how that works, some free level balls. Wow, that was that was big. Look at that. That was big. Now I think I have a couple of uh, a couple of packs we can open up. So let's let's just do that real fast. We got some packs. We got some packs we can open up. Oh, we got six Guardians Rising packs. Is that what I should open? Hmm. I guess so. Oh, I got six uncommon chests. Uh, let's go. I know you guys are more hype about some Guardians Rising, and since I already redeemed these, uh. <laughs> They're redeemed. So let's see. What do we get? Nine tails. What you bringing? What you bringing? Even the burning shadows is what just won it for us. Some Brooklyn Hill, also a great card. We got us some good stuff. Rayquaza with a Pango. Let's open up another one. Cause this is primarily a card opening video, not primarily a card opening channel, with some PTCGO on it because I love to play the game. Murkrow, Sandy Shrew, Delo, and our rare is a Turtonator. The worst Turtonator in the game. Now they, they got a couple bad Turtonators, but they got one really good one. <gasps> there it is! That Reverse Foil Rockruff! So hype! So hype! The best card in the deck! And our rare in the pack is... A Wishy Cash. <laughs> wishy Cash? Wish Cash. I wish I had that cash. That's what that is. Alolan Vulpix, so strong. And a Turtonator. Another one? Another one. Alright, last pack. Last pack magic. Some magic, please. I had no GXs this time. Some more Rock Ruff, Rock Ruff, Reverse Foil. Rare is a Passionate Dance. Da -da -da. And our rare in the pack is a Probo Pass. What a troll. What a troll. I want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, I'll try to get together. I will try to keep working on that slippery stall. And we'll see if we can get that. Uh, thank you so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby. And I hope you guys Alola. See you on the next video. Bye bye now.